More good news for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, it looks like they're locking up everybody this offseason. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, well, now the coach and GM as well. New six-year contracts for Andy Reid and Brett Veach. So they locked up through the 2025 season. Look at Andy Reid's numbers in his seven years in Kansas City, averaging 11 wins. 77 and 35 is his record. He's gone to the playoffs six of the seven years. He's won the division four of the seven years, and we all know that's a very large one next to Super Bowl wins. When he came from Philadelphia, it was viewed as taking a damaged coach with a reputation to just win only regular season games, yep. not win when it comes down to clock management issues, just all sorts of problems from Philadelphia. Bright guy, smart guy, knew how to coach, but in terms of winning it all, not so much. Couldn't win the big one. And now here he is at age 62, hip attached to his personally hand-picked quarterback from the draft, that also included Deshaun Watson, and we all know Mitchell Trubisky was already gone. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes attached at the hip with him under contract for 10 years. Travis Kelsey under contract now. Chris Jones, let's not forget, franchise tagged him. One guy who's franchise tagged in Jacksonville winds up in Minnesota. You only get a two and a five back and some salary cap flexibility. But the Chiefs, take care of Chris Jones. They handle their business with Mahomes. They get Brett Veach under contract and get Andy Reid signed up. And Andy Reid now, look at this list. He's 62 years old and he's got Mahomes at age 25. Andy Reid currently is seventh on the all-time list. He will pass Paul Brown this year if they play all 16, right? These are all-time coaching wins. He just needs seven to pass Paul Brown. Then he could next year get Curly Lambeau to go top five behind Landry, Belichick, Hallis, and Shula. Let's just say he's won 11. He's averaged 11, right? He's average, yeah. And let's say he wants to coach till he's 72, 10 more years. Just do the math. Let's just say he won't average 11. He'll average 10. Okay. Add 100. He'll have 300 career wins. He has a shot to go get Hallis. He probably won't catch Belichick, who's not tapping out anytime soon. But Andy Reid is going to the Hall of Fame. Without oh, yeah. question. Andy Reid is going to the Hall of Fame. And it is remarkable what he has done in Kansas City and what he has set up to do in Kansas City from here on out. And I said this to Collinsworth. I'll repeat it here. The whole concept of Super Bowl hangover is born out of, well, you're just everywhere you go, just, you know, hearing about how great you are. And you get complacent when you go out to dinner and when you go to a parties and when you're traveling. And it just wears you down, it wears you down. Then comes the long mini camps and you're thinking, well, you know, we got to get it up for training camp and preseason games and we got to get, get ready for it. And you're, it's all you hear. And you're doing all these commercials. You're doing all this. You're doing all that. Potentially, you've lost a ton of your coaches and coaching staff. You lost all your, your players. Well, a lot of your players. Kansas City Chiefs do not have that. COVID-19, where have the players been except sitting in their houses? Conceptually. They don't have it. The whole concept of Super Bowl hangover is not part of of the Kansas City Chiefs in 2020. Instead, they are motivated. They probably can't wait to get on the practice field, get out of the house, can't wait to go play football, and happy to do so for a team that figured out how to put all the pieces together and make it work in a salary cap. GM's not going anywhere. Coach isn't going anywhere. Ownership's not going anywhere. Mahomes isn't going anywhere. How do you think that feels to everybody there on that they took care of Chris Jones. Obviously, they're going to have to figure out how to take care of some other people. Yeah, Field Yates added last night, they bring back 18 of 22 starters from the Super Bowl, and they add Clyde Edwards-Hoyer. Right, because Damian Williams, who had a, a, a right to say that he was an MVP candidate for mm -hmm. that game, 
um, he has opted out for the COVID-19 2020 season. It's impressive. Good time to be a Chiefs fan. Yeah, they're set up. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.